In early spring, adders emerge from their winter hibernation, looking for the chance to breed. As Minsmere is a bit of a hotspot for this increasingly rare reptile, Chris and I thought we'd try our luck at finding some. Skin. Quite big. Yeah, so. and fresh. Still soft. It's from a female. It's a big adder. Look at the length of it. She's only just shed this. If it was in the sun, it would dry out really quickly. She's around here somewhere. But the first one we spot is a male. Look at that. It's beautiful. They're just gleaming. Do you think that male's just shed as well? I do. I think he's absolutely minty. Sparkling and shining and completely fresh. He wasn't the only one. We were soon surrounded by male adders. And one shot off. One, one's just gone, gone off that way. that way. Look at that. And moving so fast all the time, Chris. It's so quick. It's adder feel, isn't it? All around this, Chris. I know, I know. Martin, Martin. Look at that. The yellow one and the blue, that's the female and the male. The colour of adders varies from one individual to another, but females tend to be browny red, while the males are striking black and white. Now, what on earth do you think is going on here? We've got male, that female. My theory is that there's a female adder here that's recently shed. And I think that there were at least three males here who were interested in that female in terms of a mating opportunity. Because as I recall, they emerge, they feed, and then they molt, and then they mate. So we've got, what, two, two three males here? Yeah. All looking for that one female. I think so. to mate with her. I think that's what's going on. Normally, when you see an adder, you're not looking for it, so you disturb it, and you just see it wriggling away, or you might catch one basking. But this is brilliant because we're actually able to watch their behaviour, and we're not annoying them. They don't even know we're here, do they? They seem oblivious. But it's funny, one's just gone past me here. It's, it's gone in six inches from my boot. Don't worry, you're fine. Chris, that male is flattening himself right out. I know, he? I know. He's spreading his body onto the ground, both to get the rays of the sun and the warmth from the ground. And you frequently see them do this. They stretch their rib cage right apart like that. Lizards do it too. But it's almost like he's on you know, big circuit, worn out, wants to recharge his solar batteries. When I was a kid, I was always out after adders. Yeah. Every weekend when it was sunny, I had to go and look for adders, catch adders, take adders home, put them on top of the TV. One of them gave birth on top of the TV. Gave birth on top of the TV? Gave birth, and it was Saturday afternoon when the horse racing was horse on. Horse racing? Was that was on top? Eight, eight young adders. It was a top moment for me. I'm not sure about my parents. Poor mum and dad. <laughs> These males clearly had one thing on their minds. Just a few days later, we captured this. A male adder finally getting his girl. After some gentle sniffing, he quivers against her to entice her to mate. Female adders only breed every couple of years, but this male is in luck. She's receptive and accepts his advances. Adder mating is a prolonged affair. The pair will stay together for as long as two hours before eventually going their separate ways. The young develop inside their mother over the spring, and in late summer, she'll give birth to around eight tiny babies, each a perfect miniature of their mum. Fantastic. <laughs>